In this video, we're going to insert a WordPress gallery into a post. All right, and it, the way to do that is to begin up here with this Add Media button. So we click that, and we go into our Media Manager, our Media Library. Uh, you'll notice when we first come in here that you see all these images in here. These are the images that are already in my Media Library, and I know I'm there because I go up here, and it shows I'm in my Media Library. And so if you'd like to make a gallery from images that are already in your media library, then this is the pane that you want to be in. And so you're already here. Um, so we're going to upload some files, but we'll do that in a second. Uh, first, let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the things that you can do. So if I want to add, let's say, this image to my gallery, then I click on it. And then if I want to add let's say the next image, if I click on this, you'll notice that this one is deselected. So you have to, what you have to do is once you click on an image to select it, you're going to have to either hold the control button down and then click on another, and then I can click on whichever ones I want, wherever they are, and you can see they're added right by the check marks. Or Another thing I can do is I can select a range. And by a range, I mean that, uh, let's say I want all of the images in these top two rows. So I click on the first one, and then I click the Shift button on my keyboard, and I go to the last one in the range that I want, and then I select that, and it selects all those in a range. And let's say I want to add um, this one down here as well. So once all those are selected, I'll need to hit the control button and select that to add it. Right? And if I want to take that out or take any out, again, I'm hitting the control button. Say so I want to take this one out. Right? Okay. So if I were to just to select this, oh, let's go ahead and do it. Then you see all of those become unselected. Right? So you have to be careful what you're doing but of course you can always correct it okay so you're in the media library here so you can create a gallery out of images in your media library which is something that you could not do before this new version of the media manager came out with version 3.5 of WordPress so that's a nice improvement but let's say I want to upload some files from my computer so I'm gonna to have to switch to this pane here okay and then I go into my computer and again I to select files that I want right, I click one but then if I click the next one then that becomes deselected right so what I need to do if I want to do them individually is to hit the control button and then select 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 right? or if I want to select a range again I select the first one in the range and then I hit the shift button and select the last one in the range and they're all selected okay and then we hit open here and it should bring all of those into my media library all right, you'll notice that it switched me back automatically to my media library so these are the images that I've just added from my computer but then I also have the all these other images that were in my media library previously okay so that makes it easy for selecting other images um, let's say I want to select this image that was already in my media library. Again, I'm going to have to click uh, the control button to just add that one. Okay. Um, another nice thing about this new media manager is up here, right, instead of getting all the images that are in my media library, I could just select images that were uploaded to this post, right, um, or go by just images or just audio or just video. Right, so that's another nice feature there. Okay. Um, okay, so let's say I'm going to put all these in my gallery. These are the ones that I want selected. Um, you also notice that this one has a blue border around it. Okay, and so what that means is that this is not only selected, but it's active. So I can come over here and I can put metadata in it. Okay, which means I can give a different title whatever I want to give it. I can put a caption in it. Uh, 
I can put alt text, the description, etc. Okay, and uh, because we're doing a gallery, then um, this alignment is not gonna not gonna matter. Um, but one thing that you can do here uh, is you can select where it links to. Okay, so that would still matter. Um, all right, so let's create our gallery, and we have the images selected that we want. We're going to need to come over here on the left-hand side and click this link, Create Gallery. And once we do that, then it still looks the same, but it's not the same because this button down here has changed, and now we need to click this, Create a New Gallery. Okay, so now these are the images that are going to be in our gallery. And... We have a couple of options here where we can style the gallery. Okay, One thing we can do, this is the order that the gallery will be in. We can automatically reverse that order. Right. Another thing we can do is we can drag and drop images to get them into the order that we want them in. Okay, Or over on the right hand side you can see we could click this and have random order. Another thing we can do here is um, we can choose whether the images, when you click on the image, does it go to an attachment page or does it go to a media file? And the difference there is the attachment page means that it, the image opens up in a larger version on a page that looks like any other page on your site. So it'll have the same header that you have on your site. It'll have a sidebar if you have a sidebar on your site. Okay. So that's what an attachment page means. If you click media file, that means when you click on the little thumbnail and it opens up into a larger picture, then it's going to go to just the picture itself. And so there'll be no header, there'll be no sidebar, or anything else. Okay, so you can make that decision. You might want to send people to an attachment page if you want them to navigate somewhere else after that. Okay, and then you can also control the columns here. Right, so the default is three columns. Um, Let's just let's just leave it at three for now, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll insert the gallery, okay? And so now we're back into our editor, and so you'll notice that you see this icon, this large icon for the gallery, and this is all that you will ever see. You won't in in the editor. You won't ever see all of the images that you selected here, okay? Um, so don't worry about that. If you see this and you think something's gone wrong, it hasn't. Okay. And if we switch to, which is now called the text version, you'll see we the, this is a short code. We have the gallery, and then we have the link with all the IDs of the images that I selected. Okay. And let's go ahead and publish that. All right. And let's take a look at that gallery and see what it looks like. Okay, there we are. There's our gallery. And uh, we selected the attachment page, right? So when I click this and it goes to the larger version, it should go to a page that looks like my blog. And it does, right? Okay, and one more thing you'll notice here, right? I put a caption on that one, and so it put, you can put a caption on them. Okay, and I titled that one title, so when you mouse over it, you'll see the title. Okay. And let's go back. So if we want to edit this gallery, what you'll need to do is you click on this large icon. Okay, and then you'll have this option here pop up. So you click on that. And that takes us back to our gallery where we can edit things. So let's say, let's add to the gallery. Um, okay. Let's click that one and that one. And we'll add to gallery. Okay, and we'll go back to the styling options, and let's switch this up just to see what it looks like. So, media file, which will mean that uh, when I click on the thumbnail, it goes to a page that just has the image on it and nothing else. And let's switch this up to four columns. And why not? Let's make it random. Okay, so let's update that, and then update our post. Okay, and let's see what the new gallery looks like. All right, so this is our new gallery. And so when I click on, let's click on the same one here. 
when I click on this, it should go to a page with just the image on it and nothing else. So there'll be no header, no sidebar, etc. All right, and there it is. Okay, so the WordPress photo gallery.